I bought some of the coolest gaming tech ever made, all under $50. So you can upgrade your gaming setup on a budget without breaking the bank. Some of these accessories are amazing, from crazy lights to a few items that you would never expect to see. We've got a lot of stuff to unbox in this video, so sit back and relax and enjoy. So our first item is a pretty standard gaming mouse and keyboard, but with a little bit of a twist in terms of its really cool color scheme. Now there's another item later on in this video that I can't wait to show you that will actually work incredibly well with both of these products. So as you can see, the boxes look identical, but I've bought them in two different colors and they have corresponding mice as well. So get this bad boy open. Oh, look at that. It even has a matching cable. Oh, look at the quality of that cable. It's got like a metal attachment. Wow. So this is the sort of green one, isn't it, that I ordered? Like a greeny blue, if I remember right. Yeah, oh, that looks beautiful. That's really nice. So these are like fancier versions of the keyboard that I showed you in the $30 gaming accessories video that came with a mouse pad and a mouse as well. This is like a little bit more of the level up of that. Same premise, the actual keyboard itself, made by the same company too. But obviously you've got much fancier connection points and stuff to go with it. Oh, that sounds really good, but look at how nice that color scheme is with the white. That's superb. So this keyboard would actually set you back $45 to get it into your gaming center, which I don't think is too bad. You know, it's got a really beautiful curly cable and everything that sort of attaches in. I'm quite impressed with the overall aesthetics here. So this sort of connects in just like so. This is to make it really easy for cable management too because of how well coiled it is. Just plug straight in and we'll do the job. Now to also match this too, you can get a mouse separately that is I think around $15 if I remember correctly. And as you can see, you've got this beautiful mouse to go with your incredible keyboard and things are going to look pretty nice. But let's take a look at the second keyboard that's in a slight different variation. Obviously there's a ton of different color combos you can get these in depending on what theme you want to create on your gaming setup. And that's the thing I like about them the best is the fact that it allows you to create like a bit of a custom theme within your gaming desk, whatever you want. So this is more of a sort of darker one. You've got the black, the orange. This actually looks way cooler than I thought it was going to. And to also match this, there is a mouse too. Boom, look at that. That's gorgeous with the sort of creamy white with the gray. Ties in beautifully. And this has a much better cable than the green one. This green doesn't quite match the keyboard itself, but this gray ties in perfectly with the overall aesthetics. While our focus is on desk accessories, I wanna show you some really nice lights that you can pick up for your gaming monitor. So these are by Govi, and they make some really cool lights. I've got some really cool lamps from them. They're a little bit more expensive. They're like sort of 100 pounds-ish, but I have those in my gaming set in the other room, and they look really nice. But these are sort of almost smaller versions of those, you could say, that could attach to the back or to the sides of your actual monitor. There's like almost desk lights, and they can sync up with the different colors and stuff on the screen. So these desk lights would set you back around $47 and you can control them with a smart app on your phone and they've got loads of cool different features such as the music sync so it'll sync up with the audio on your television but also a bunch of other presets if you just want fixed colors to sort of set the vibe within your room. Also included inside the box is this dimmable switch so you don't always have to have your smartphone at hand you can literally put this on your desk really nice and clean turn the lights on and off and then adjust the brightness as you desire. On the topic of having your phone near your desk this next accessory is only around $20 and I can't get the box open, but it allows you to uh, have a really convenient and tidy way to manage cables on your desk, but also charge various different accessories. So that could include your phone, but also any wireless headsets that you may be using. So this right here is basically like a little interface that you can mount to the bottom of your desk, either with the 3M's tape or with some actual screws, and it plugs straight into a power plug, really convenient for basically powering this USB hub. And then on here, there are three different USB ports that you can use for obviously plugging your phone charger in, charging your phone up. But my most favorite way of actually using this is for charging a headset. So you can literally hang your headset off these two side things here. And then from there, you could grab your Type-C cable or whatever and throw it straight into this hub. It would charge your headset up and then you can just disconnect it next time you come to play and you're ready to roll. This is a really clean way because I get sick of having my headset and just throwing it on my desk and then it gets in the way of my mouse and keyboard when I'm not using it. Whereas this keeps it all underneath the desk so you never see it, it's charging and it works pretty nice. Also included inside of the box are obviously the screws you would require for mounting this if you weren't using the tape, but also some little channels for routing the power cable so you can neatly get it out of the way straight into a power source. And uh, to be fair, the length of this cable is quite impressive. 
Another very useful accessory for your gaming headset is this little device here called the Mod Mic. Now this lets you turn regular headphones that don't have any built-in microphone into basically a gaming headset. Now I've used these a ton. I've actually had a few of these over the last couple of years. So I have a lot of really fancy headphones from my music production that are really high quality and have amazing fidelity. So you can hear everything inside of them way better than the quality you get from like a gaming headset. But the major problem is they don't have any form of a microphone on them. So it means you have to have like an external Shaw SM7B or some really fancy setup like a USB microphone in order to actually talk to my friends. And then it makes it a little bit clunky when I'm setting that up inside of in-game chats inside of like Call of Duty, for example. Whereas with something like this, it allows you to attach a very traditional gaming headset microphone to the actual headset you're using with like a little sort of 3M sticker thing it sticks on. And then you can just plug it straight into the mic port on your gaming PC or whatever device you're sort of using with like a splitter cable. It works fantastically well and also the audio quality is pretty good from these things. Now since the last time that I actually purchased one of these, I think they've been bought out the company by another manufacturer. So there've been some new features added to the product. So you now got this really nice mute switch so you can actually mute the microphone that's attached to your headset, which is actually a very useful feature, but also they've upgraded the microphone. It's got like more active noise cancellation inside of it, so it won't hear your PC fans humming away in the background. So everything's just sort of been leveled up a bit. And also included inside the box are multiple variations of these little magnetic 3M sticker things that are what attach to the headset itself. You get a couple of those in the box, so you can potentially use this across a range of different headsets if you so desire, and also you can replace them. Wow, that magnet's really strong and definitely improved that that's way stronger than it used to be nice if you want to purchase a mod mic it is around 50 to 55 dollars so it does exceed our price ever so slightly but it is a very convenient way to repurpose a headset that you already own another audio related item that i found was this soundbar that was only 40 dollars which isn't bad considering the feature set wow that is quite small i like it i like it that's much better than I thought it was going to be. Now the speakers inside of this are two five watt speakers, so 10 watts in total. So it should be pretty loud. I could see it being pretty fine for you, your bedroom. So this is a Bluetooth soundbar that's very small and compact that can fit underneath your monitor. So it doesn't really get in the way on your actual desk setup, but it also has a bunch of other useful features other than just playing your favorite music. Built in is its very own clock system. And this clock can be used for a few different things. First, it can be used as an alarm clock for actually waking you up in the morning. But in addition to this, you can also use it for setting like limits on your gaming session. So if you want to only play for an hour or two, it'll sort of uh, let you do that and it'll be very visible on the display in front of you. Furthermore, there are a bunch of different light modes, four animated light modes to be exact, and it does have RGB, which every gamer loves. This soundbar is powered by a Type-C cable and included inside the box is an aux cable if you want to go for a hardwire connection and also the correct cable for powering this thing up. And you could connect this cable directly to that little USB hub that I showed you earlier mounted underneath your desk. Keeping the ongoing theme with RGB with our soundbar, I found these budget versions of them sort of nano leaf hexagons that you can throw onto your wall. Now I've wanted some nano leaf stuff for a while, but it's pretty expensive. You know, it's a few hundred dollars for a couple triangles or whatever, uh, and I haven't really justified spending that much on it. But when I came across these little shapes for around $50 on Amazon, I thought it might be a nice way into almost that sort of ecosystem, even though they're different products, just sort of understanding how they might look in my gaming setup without outlaying too much cash. Now obviously these are much smaller than what you would get from the more premium variations of these types of products but inside the box you do get seven lights so you could hopefully join these together to make something sort of considerable on your wall. Now these don't magnetize together like some of the more premium brands do where you would like stick them together like so. Instead you just use these little uh, sticky back circles on the back of them here and then just stick it directly to your wall. Not a big deal, should probably do the job. But the way that you do link them all is actually quite tidy and it's with these various USB ports on either side of the product. So inside this bag here, you've got like these little uh, two-way uh, USB ports and you just literally connect this in to the side that you want to plug into another side and then boom, that obviously kind of attaches them, but still you want to stick them at the back and then via just one single USB cable, 
with your master unit, you'd throw that into your power plug and it will illuminate all of them. And these are what the final results look like. I don't know, what do you think? Are these worth $50 or should we get something a little bit more premium? Another really cool RGB product that I found was this microphone for around $40. It was pretty, pretty cheap. This could be useful if you uh, do any live streaming, if you want to be like a content creator, because it's a very cool mic. Uh, it's USB powered, so you just throw it into your PC and it'll transfer all the audio via the USB. It's got a little included pop filter as well, so you won't get any like plosives on the mic, like pop, 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 when you say words like power, it won't have all that breathiness. It's a pretty tidy little setup and it's got a nice little stand. This also would work fantastically well for just a talking microphone with your friends. So if you play on PC gaming in particular, you could have this as your talking mic and then a normal headset if you didn't want to have something like the mod mic. But as you can see, when it powers up, it has some incredibly cool lighting effects. But obviously, you all want to hear how this sounds. To avoid having any copyright issues on this video, go and check out the cover on my music channel where you can see me test this microphone and sing the song. When this microphone does power up, it does reveal a bunch of touch sensitive buttons unlocking further features. Now let's take a look at a brand new product that just launched in the last week, which is the brand new Xbox controller range. Now there's a bunch of new colors, both for the Elite Series 2 Pro controllers and also just for the regular ones. This one right here is the new Deep Pink. Let's take a look at how it looks. Oh wow, that looks really nice. See, oh wow. Now something nice about this controller, even though it's all pink in its aesthetic and design, you can still see that the buttons uh, still have the color code corresponding above them, which is a nice sort of accessibility feature. And also it allows you to still understand which button you're pressing if you're not too comfortable with your Xbox pad. Now there is also another regular controller in the high velocity green variation. Unfortunately, I couldn't get hold of one. They were out of stock. So I got this pink version instead, which I think looks really nice with the pink, black, and also the white back. I think this could actually become my new favorite controller. Controller. But to go with your controller, you're obviously going to need a controller holder. And there's these really cool RGB ones that I found on Amazon as well in two different types. So the first variation is this Marvel one. If you're a fan of like Spider-Man and the sort of Marvel series of programs, this one is a great option. But my personal favorite is actually the Harry Potter one, which will go really well if you're playing a lot of Hogwarts Legacy. So these will light up and illuminate when you plug them in. Wow, it's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. <laughs> And as you can see on this Harry Potter one, it's got all of the different houses on there and it will light up via the uh, USB cable. The cool thing about this as well is not only does it light up and have some cool RGB effects, there's actually two USB ports on the controller holder itself. So you can use this for actually charging your controller or your smartphone if you wanted to use this as a phone holder instead. And obviously a great combo to go with this would be the brand new Hogwarts Legacy controller for the PS5. Absolutely perfect match. Now something very crazy about this Hogwarts Legacy controller is that I actually bought this for $60 only a few weeks ago. And right now they're selling for over 400 pounds on eBay, which is absolutely absurd. Like because they're, they're discontinued and things that were limited run, they've absolutely skyrocketed in price. Another brilliant desk accessory that's a perfect match for your live streaming microphone if you are live streaming is the Stream Deck Mini. Now this thing's pretty affordable compared to the larger variations of this. And to be honest, I think for a majority of people, this is the only one they need. It's got six buttons on that you can map to do a bunch of different things. Now, even if you're not going to be live streaming, you can still use a Stream Deck Mini for triggering shortcuts on your PC. It's super useful for booting up like your favorite games, your favorite apps like Spotify and stuff like that. With just a press of a button, it'll boot up Spotify super easily. So it's actually a great way for increasing productivity on your system overall. And the great thing about the Mini version is its size. Look at how small this thing is. It's absolutely tiny, so it's not going to to obtrude and get in the way on your desk. This helps keep everything streamlined and very minimalistic if you're going for that vibe. Now, as I said at the start of the video, I had also purchased another product that would match perfectly with your mouse and keyboard. And these are the Lego Star Wars helmet heads. As you can tell, you've got the Rex one for uh, Star Wars Clone Wars, and also you've got Cody, which matches perfectly with the color codes of those keyboards. So if you wanted to go for like a Star Wars gaming setup theme, these things will be absolutely perfect. They cost around 50 to $55. Sometimes you can get them way cheaper in a sale, but they aren't too large, so they don't take a very long time to build. They're around 850 pieces each. And I have loads of these all over the place inside of my YouTube studio. I own pretty much all of them. And I also think by far out of all of the Lego helmet heads, these are some of the coolest ones. Other than the Boba Fett one, that's pretty nice. 
Now, before I show you the final product, I just want to let you know that every single one of these products is linked in the video description over on my Amazon store page in its own little section. So you can go in and see all the cool gaming tech under $50 if you want to browse and pick any of it up in a super convenient place that'll save you a bunch of time and make it way easier for actually buying anything rather than me leaving you with a, like hundreds of links down in the video description. It's much more streamlined. Now, this final product is from Thrustmaster and it is a flight stick for your Xbox. Now there's a few different versions of this flight stick that you can get for Xbox and also PlayStation, but I purchased the one on Xbox because I think it kind of makes more sense because of Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's included on Xbox Game Pass, so you can kind of get it for free with your Game Pass subscription, with your Xbox Live Gold and stuff. Oh man, get it out, come on. Nice. And this only cost me something like $35. It was absurdly cheap, and it's one of the best-selling flight sticks on uh, Amazon, so I was quite confident when purchasing it. So this is just the flight stick combo right here. You know, you've got your little joystick, and then also you've got a throttle that sort of attaches together, doesn't take up too much space, pretty decent build quality, but you can also purchase some additional rudder pedals if you so desire, if you're flying some of those larger planes and stuff like that. But I think for most people, the little rudder thing here would suffice and it keeps things nice and compact and doesn't take up too much space. This is a much more cost-effective solution compared to the official Turtle Beach pedal rudder set that you can get for the Xbox Series X. That thing's quite large and also pretty expensive, setting you back around $200 to $300. The products I showed you in this video were pretty awesome, but if you want to see some even cheaper gaming accessories that are pretty cool, you should check out this video next for the coolest tech under $30.